Now what I'm going to do next is to make a pound board. In the past, uh, what I've done is taken a board and put kitchen sponges on the bottom. And when you pour plaster in the mold, you tap on this board to get the air bubbles to come to the top. I found another method that works just about as well. What you can do is you take a hardback book, a thin one, and uh, larger is better, uh, but you know, whatever size you have, because you only need to fit a mold on it. Set it down on top of a kitchen trash bag. This is a tall kitchen trash bag. And what you want to do is you want to use some uh, clear tape to tape it over and protect the book. So we are going to take this and we are going to fold the trash bag over this way. And we're going to fold the trash bag over this way. And we're going to use a piece of tape to uh, tape it on there. And try to get it stretched over fairly tight if you can. Then we'll take the bottom. We're going to fold it up, and we are going to uh, tape one edge up this way, and then we'll take the bottom down, and we are going to tape this side of it. And when you flip it over, this will protect your book, and this will be the work surface that we start casting on. Another way to make a pound board is to take a uh, thin hardback book, kind of like a children's book, and get a one gallon freezer bag. And what we're going to do is just stuff this book into the freezer bag. Now it only has to really be big enough to hold a mold, so a smaller child's book will probably do fine. I like to go bigger because, you know, I just like a little more room to work. So put that sucker in there and zip it up, and that will protect your book while you cast your mold on it. Now the next thing you want to do is set up your work area. Uh, this is the area that I have set up and it doesn't take a lot of space. A small kitchen table will work fine. What I have is I have my uh, casting material here. This is Merlin's Magic Gray but regular plaster of Paris will do or Hydrocal or Hydrostone or whatever you decide to cast in. I usually have that on the right hand side, the chair that I sit in. I usually have a low trash can on the left and then I have the table that I'm working and I usually cover that table with a kitchen trash bag so that any plaster that spills over will just shake off the bag when it's hardened and it's very easy to clean up. I've got here my reusable measuring cup and some extra plastic cups and water. I also use a surfactant or debubbleizer. Uh, Almor is one that I like but it's kind of expensive and hard to find. Uh, I'll also show you in a few minutes how to mix your own, which is in this little blue bottle right here. That's uh, really, really cheap to do and works fairly well. You'll also need a spoon and a scraper of some kind and an optional kitchen timer. Oh, and one last thing, don't forget to have paper towels handy. I have a big roll here and you're going to use lots of paper towels when you're doing this.